cold one out there. I think I'm the only one in the parking lot sleeping. This is a good day as any. Let's straighten you out. Oh. So, anyways, it's over here still at Walmart. My GoPro, I mentioned in Baxter. I still don't think I'm straight. Oh, well. Um, that it was shutting off telling me that the battery was dead and it was like 80%. I just turned it on to use it to film that last section about my solar power. And it's telling me that the stabilization is temporarily off because the camera is too cold. Well, it's 63.8 degrees in here. So I think I figured out the problem. The, whatever tells it what the temperature is or whatever regulate probably the battery because it is a lithium battery in these it's screwed up it's got to be it so i had to try to call gopro because i am a gopro member or whatever they call that and supposedly it's no question asked return uh swap a camera or whatever and of course couldn't get a hold of anybody probably due to covid because that's what all these companies are using excuses nowadays is because of covid because of covid because of covid so went into Walmart, enough, enough whining about COVID. Seems like it's becoming a topic lately because I'm so sick of it. Um, just went in, spent a hundred bucks in Walmart because I've been lazy buying all these pre-packaged um, stir fries. I, I add different stuff like, you know, the fake chicken. And now I've moved on to pre-done salads <laughs> i just don't have a lot of room and i'm so sick of prepping and this van is a disaster and uh so i've been kind of skimping spent i think i spent a lot more money doing it that way but anyways um so i guess i'm gonna call gopro here we are we're position number two we're getting closer oh we got action woohoo well, here we go again. I just got off because it we manually updated and it wasn't doing it. And then as soon as I got off the chat with them, it did it. Said so the video stabilization thing, which I can get it to get go oh, right there. So back on chat, but at least I have a reference number. I'm going to give them. They said that it, I bought this in September 2020. And it's under warranty for one year. And if it wasn't under warranty, and it's really hot too. Something's really messed up with this camera. Um, even if it wasn't, because um, I'm a GoPro, GoPro member, you get, um, you could swap it out for a hundred bucks. So $99. So it's, I think as a member, I only pay like $3.99. So I'm still saving a couple hundred bucks. So. Wow, wow, wow. Where are we? It looks like Hotel Walmart. Look at that. It's a warm one tonight. Seven and a half degrees. I think that's the warmest I've seen it in the last week. laundry bags like in the way here. <laughs>
So we stopped by Ski the Lights, which I've actually never been in here. I met him one time when I was out doing trail maintenance. And that's why I knew his truck was here. His Facebook page says he opens at nine, but the door says 10. I guess they have an espresso bar. He does, makes his own coffee and sells it. So uh, that opens at nine. So maybe that's what the Facebook page is saying. But anyways, I just need a pair of leashes. He told, said come back at 10. He said if he could find the guy, the owner, he could probably get him to sell them to me, but he can't find them. So anyways, let's go scan. Don't need it, they're not that important. Oh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Oh, they got lift, the lift running over there. That's a good sign because these guys have had a bad year with lifts. Wow, this is bumpy. Figured out why the guy down at Ski the Whites wasn't there. That's his truck, right? His other truck. I think he has two. Because I just saw Squall. He went in the, he's laying down. You can almost see him. He's right, right, right there. You see some fur. <laughs> I don't know the, I, I didn't really know the truck, but I know the dog because I met the dog too. And that's So obviously he comes here and skins up and skis in the morning. He's like the mascot for the place. Jen earning her turns <laughs> on a small scale. <laughs> oh. Point on Black Mountain Ski Area. Whew. That was a lot of work in ski boots. Oh, you could totally ski that. Just jump, go under the pole. Somebody looks like somebody did ski down something. Yeah, I know. Her husband paid me a million bucks to do this. Woo! Oh, no! <laughs> oh! Bye, Jen. See <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Bobolink. I have no idea. Got me. Ah! 
Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. That's so, I like it. <laughs> a lot of work to get to this one though. Whoa, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we gotta go all the way. Oh no, I just thought of that. We can take the T-bar back up and work our way over. Yeah, cause we gotta go way over. I didn't think of that part. Okay, how's this one work? I've never been on a round one. Um, so I'm gonna grab it, and yeah. it goes in between your legs. Okay. And then you just wanna make sure you keep your skis straight as you're going he knows up. How to I've been on it. a T-bar, just never one oh. that looked like that. <laughs> just don't sit down and keep your skis straight. Okay. It goes in between your legs. Okay. Don't tell, don't tell me I don't take you out for fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Where's my phone? <laughs> my first single T-bar. Get dead back there. You put it between your legs, she said. I don't know. You dodge it? <laughs> I don't know. Go the other way. I was afraid I was going to... I wanted to kind of time it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Jed. <laughs> That's why I went to this way so I could time my. <laughs> Good. 